As we looked before in our content library for the tasks in Actor Wardrobe and Props workflow, we had some abilities to go and work with um, selecting figurines and we can go in pauses so we can find specific pauses. However, we have it much more uh, defined in the library if we go directly work with the pauses itself inside the workflow. So let's go switch on this, pause and animate. Now we'll look on this tab. As you will notice right here, we have our presets, so we can go through all pauses. And this is, will apply to the smart content, so whatever model we're selecting. So right now it does not select, it will show all of this. And if we select specific model, it will, um, object, it will select it to this object that all the presets can apply it. We also have it, our expanded bar with information and tags if we placed anything. Okay, and uh, other things also what I want to show you is as right now we have it all and you notice some of these icons as a pauses, they have it preview for us so we can preview, but some of them missing and it's because it's animation. So to enable preview animation, just roll over and you can see in your viewport, we have a full animation so we can preview that animation on a figuring. You can see we have it quite a bit of those animations. So some of them will explain what this does. And of course the preview, it's kind of give it a little bit better, absorb what they're doing. Okay, so right here, let's say we have it our figure. And then next, as we start working on the posing, one other element we need to look inside the viewport, and this is gizmo tool. So example, if I want select figure, I click once, I have a global transformation. So this is applied to all figurines and it's right here in the middle. You can see if I scale, it's a scale all figurines. So if I want to apply two specific element, I can just go ahead and double click one more time. And now you can notice that this is element is selecting. So now if I apply transformation, it's look a little bit disturbing, but disturbing as well. But you can see it will apply just to this element. So then we have a rotation and we have it also translation. If for some reason you did something bad and you want to restore to original, right here we have it our icon with figures. We can go back and just says restore figure pose. So it's go back to original preset. As well, you'll notice right here we have it limits on and limits off. So what limits it does is prevent us from doing um, some horrible things to the figurines. For example, we can do like this, which does look a little bit horrible. Okay, let's go restore it. And as example, we can go enable limits on. And now I just have a limitation how much I can go use this. You can see this does not allow me to pass that point. So in some cases, you maybe want to enable limits. Okay. And sometimes you probably want to disable DPN again on yours. Um, what do you try to do with model? But overall, it's available here. And as we work with presets, sometimes you want to define more. Even it's provide you a very nice tool and you can kind of like preset, adjust hand this way, you know, going small by small step directly in a viewport. But it's sometimes it's much more easy access through the additional editor. So an access editor will just go inside, click on an editor, and you notice right in editor will have components of the body that we can select directly from drop down. For example, I can go inside the neck, head, and I'll just select head from here. And as we select, we have additional properties applied so we can twist it side by side, twist around. Again, remember, because we don't have it limits on, we can do very dramatic looks. Anyway, so it's right here. Similar things what we've done before, but you have it as well. And properties, lock, favorites, and options, same as this. If you have more than one components that we saw before, you can always filter them if you want to select, uh, go for specific elements. Okay, and right here we have it also scale. That's similar like we did before. So we can create a quite bit big bubble head. Okay, this is work on head, but we can always just go ahead and access to all properties for uh, figurings we selected. So let's go ahead, select the figures. Okay, so 
So we select all the figurines, all. Right here we have it, all our figurines translation selected. Okay, and we can jump to specific elements. Okay, as we work with the figurines, sometimes we need it kind of fast access. And remember, we looked before, so we can go to edit figure and access like logs or limits set here. But it's have a faster way, same as we access our viewports from this right kind of menu navigation drop down. We have it also options additional for this panel. And this is option is changed depending on the active panel. So for example, on a wardrobe, you can see it's got content close, but on a pause and animation, so a little bit more properties allowed to us. So we have a uh, properties to copy figure, paste, if we have it some pause, we can it add memorize figure, so we can recall after, restore, zero out, clear, if we have any animations, we can enable limits on off, lock to specific node, use its symmetry, uh, drop to the floor. We, for some reason, move our model up. Just showing hidden properties. You remember, like before, if we hide some property, what we did before to this menu. As example, right here, let's go to say scale. And like I hide the scale, so no way I can access. So through this menu, I can go to my show hidden properties. So show all of them, even when we don't see this. And right here, I can go to my scale, unhide, and now it will show me. So again, right here, we have it show hidden elements. Okay. Also, we have it display separate, all properties, and we can make a panel undockable. So we can remove it and place another ones or um, dockable. So it's just different properties on this panel. Again, remember, you can take this panel and move on different screen if you want more working real estate around. Um, again, go ahead, try play around with this, twist, change some properties, see which one, um, how they work. Okay, I'm sure you probably will create quite a bit disturbing looks with the figurines, but this is part of this to have fun. Um, again, if you re remember, if you don't like it, pause what it's looking, you always can go back and restore figures to original. So it will zero out everything. Besides, you can always just click and zero specific properties. And if you created pause that you pause that you like it and want to use it, you can always go click and save to the new pause preset. So in the future, you can um, access and reuse it maybe in your other scenery.